Hey guys, what's up? It's me here in November, and welcome back to Island of PSA, Island of Psychiatric Survivors Advocates. So today I'm doing kind of a different video and talking about why, personally, I don't think reality therapy is a good idea. Now, please note, I'm not a counselor, I'm not a psychologist, not a mental health professional. This is just someone's opinions that's been through the mental health system for almost uh, nearly it. Well, a decade, been through the mental health system for a decade and understands a lot about what helps me and what doesn't. So I was going to make this video last night. I had the idea when I was at church, but I didn't because I was manic for a couple hours and I had my brain. I just couldn't even concentrate on anything. So got that under control. So now we're going to make this video. So, um, reality therapy was first introduced to me by the best therapist ever. Yeah, right. The one who covered up my CSA, uh, Caitlin at, um, Lower Heights. Uh, she told my mom that'd be a good idea for me, so I didn't know much about it at the time, and I, um, I was just going through some notes a couple of years ago and found that she wrote it down. So basically, what it is, is it's um, um, it it views instead of mental illness, it views choices as behaviors, and uh, people aren't mentally ill; they're just choosing behaviors to fit their needs. Now, this is prom prob prob problematic i can't say the word because many mental health professionals criticize it to traditional therapy because it doesn't prescribe medication which can lead to very dangerous things if someone isn't medicated in my opinion um and it doesn't understand the root of the problems in the past and why you are you are today so basically it focuses on the present it doesn't believe in mental illness it just chooses that you choose these behaviors Basically, and um, the criticisms, basically, and this is going to be a quick video, I just realized this because I don't have much written down, is opposition, mental illness, anti-med stance, disregard of the unconsciousness, and limitation to the present, which is very limiting. So, in my opinion, I have severe PTSD, so if I don't acknowledge my past, I can't move forward. So, this was kind of a short video. Um, my next video, I think, I think I already have it down, what I'm going to do. I might film it today, I might not, but... Thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to, you can check out my link tree at linktr.ee slash INPSA. I'll be in the description. Okay, thanks guys. Bye.